Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw the parts and assembly modeling of blow off cock. The assembly of blow off cock consists of four parts. We will draw one by one. First, we will start with part number one. Open SolidWorks, click new and create a new part. Select the front plane. Click sketch and draw the outside profile of the wall. Go to smart dimensions and mark all the dimensions. So the bottom side radius is 30 mm as the diameter is 60 mm. The overall diameter is 132 so it is 132 divided by 2. The distance between these two points is given as 64 by 2. And for this edge, I am giving a length of 2 mm. And for this edge, I am giving a length of 7 mm. This height is given as 11 mm. From the top, to this edge, the height is given as 40 mm. Then the distance between this edge and the bottom plane is given as 52 plus 93. Then the distance between these two edges is given as 94 by 2. So this is actually in a vertical scale, I mean horizontal one. So click this and make it as horizontal. Then go to smart dimensions and mark the overall diameter. So it is a rectangle actually. So I am giving 114 divided by 2. Then the height of this section is given as 22 and this height is given as 11 mm. The drawing is fully constrained. You can go to features, click revolve boss, select the center plane and revolve this. Okay. Next I am going to draw the square at the top. So click this surface, select sketch and draw a square. of 114 mm. Go to future, click extruded bus and select up to surface and select this surface. Click OK. okay. Now select the front plane, click sketch and draw the left side view, I mean left side profile. So here I am going to draw it and revolve it. Go to smart dimensions and mark the dimensions. The distance between the bottom edge and the center line is given as 
93 mm so there is some gap is there so you can click control select the two points and make it as merge again go to smart dimensions and uh, the inclination is given as 4 mm and the distance between this point and the center actually the diameter is given it is 68 so the radius is 68 by 2 then the overall diameter is also given it is 112 divided by 2 then the width of this region is given it is 10 mm and the distance between the origin and the extreme point is given as 80 mm. Now go to features, click revolve boss, select the center line, then click OK. Now we have created the solid model. Next I am going to create uh, the cut inside. So select the front plane, click sketch and draw the inside parts. Go to smart dimensions, mark the dimensions. So this width, the diameter is given 44 by 2 and distance between this point and the center axis is given as 54 by 2 and the height is the summation of 22 plus 11. Now going to the top side. This width is given as 82 by 2 and the height is also given, the height of this section is given as 24. Now the drawing is fully constrained, go to features, click revolve cut, select the center axis, and click OK. Now I have created the cut inside, next I am going to create the left side cut, select front plane, click sketch. Select line, and draw the inside profile, then go to smart dimensions, this width is given as 20, actually the diameter is given as 40, so the radius is 20, the inclination is given as 4 degree. Go to Futures, click Revolve Cut, select the center axis, click OK. You can see that I have created the cut. Next I am going to create the hole at the top face, click this surface, click Sketch, draw a circle, go to Smart Dimensions and mark the distance. So the distance is given as 80 by 2 that is 40 and the vertical distance is also the same 40. The radius of the circle is given so it is M12 bolt so 12 mm diameter. Go to features click extruder cut and select up to surface and select the surface. Next I am going to create the thread, go to hole wizard, select thread, select the starting edge of the thread and in the end condition select the end face, click ok. So actually in the internal thread we cannot cut the thread, we have to extrude it, so I am changing it to extrude thread, trim with the start face and trim with the end face.
Now, go to linear sketch pattern, circular pattern. Direction, choose the circular direction and future surfaces, select the arrow mark, select the cut extrude and the thread, then click OK. Next, I am going to create the holes in the bottom surface. Select the surface, click sketch, draw two circles, one is a pitch circle and another one is the hole. Go to smart dimensions, and mark the diameter. So the bottom circle diameter is given as 100 mm and the hole diameter is given as 12 mm. Click the circle and choose for construction. Go to Futures, click Extruded Cut and choose Up to Surface option and select the top surface. Click OK. Now go to Linear Sketch Pattern, Circular Pattern. Select the direction as any one circular edge and Futures and Faces, select the tree and choose Extrude Cut, then click OK. Now select the surface, click Sketch, draw two circles, one is pitch circle and another one is the hole. Go to Smart Dimensions and the pitch circle diameter is given as 92 mm and the hole diameter is given as 12 mm. Click Control, select the circle and the outer circle and make it as concentric. Now select the inner circle and choose for construction. Go to Futures, click Extruded Cut and choose Up to Surface. Next I am going to pattern it, go to Circular Pattern. The direction is the circular direction and the cut extrude is already selected, so click OK. So now we have completed the first part, right click on the material and choose the material as brass. So go to file, save this as part number 1. Now close this, click new, create a new part. Now I am going to draw the second part, select front plane, click sketch and draw the right side profile. And the top face, I am keeping it as a solid. Go to Smart Dimensions and mark all the dimensions. The outside diameter is given as 54, so the radius is 54 by 2. Then this height is given as 42 mm and this distance is given as 36 mm then the remaining distance is given as 100 mm now I am keeping this as a circle with the radius of 20 mm as the diameter is 80. So you can click and drag this outside.
then go to smart dimension this distance is given as 8 mm and this distance is also given as 8 mm then the distance between these two points is given as 40 mm the distance between these two is given as 6 mm now this distance is given us 48 by 2 actually it is 24 plus 8 mm then you can click control select these two points and make it as horizontal so this is moving that is why it is not uh, under fully constrained so click the origin click control and select the point and make it as vertical similarly this distance is also not provided so go to smart dimension select these two edges and make it as 8 mm now the drawing is fully constrained go to features click revolve boss select this edge and click ok Next I am going to cut the top face, click sketch. So initially draw a rectangle in the cross direction. So click control, select these two lines and make it as perpendicular so it is already under perpendicular condition now go to smart dimensions and mark the length the length is given as 30 mm and here also this is given as 30 mm now go to line tool draw a line that connects these two points click control select the origin and the line and make it as midpoint now click this line choose vertical and choose for construction next select a rectangle from the origin so the rectangle side length is given as 40 mm and here also it is 40 mm Go to trim entities and trim the unwanted regions. Go to features, click extruded cut and choose up to surface and select the surface. So now the cut is in the opposite direction so choose edit future select flip side to cut then click ok now select the surface click sketch select convert entities and choose offset entities select this line and in the reverse direction the distance is 8 mm click ok now click control and select all these six lines and make it as construction line go to features click extruded cut choose 
choose the surface and it is not sketch plane offset of 8 mm and select through all change the direction of offset click ok now choose the front plane click sketch select line and draw the cut section profile go to smart dimensions and the top side width is 16 mm and the bottom width is 11 mm and the overall height is given as 60 mm the distance between these two edges is given as 22 mm now go to mirror entities entities to mirror select these three lines and mirror about the center line now click the center line and make it as construction line go to features click extruded cut select through all both now right click on the material and apply the material as cast alloy save this as part number 2 close this click new create a new part select the front plane click sketch select line tool and draw the outside profile Click this and make it as vertical. Then this is actually a horizontal line. Click control, select these two points and make it as horizontal. Go to smart dimensions and mark the dimensions. The overall width is given as 9 mm. Then the outside radius is given as 78 by 2. And this is 114 by 2. The inside radius is given as 68 by 2. And from the center to the top edge, it is given as 56 by 2. This height is given as 5 mm and this edge is given as 22 mm. The overall height is given as 70 mm. The height of this wedge is given as 9 mm. then this distance is given as 78 by 2 and this height is given as 3 mm and the distance between these two edges is given as 4 mm. Now the drawing is fully constrained. Go to features. Before that, construct a center line to make the revolve. 
So keep this center line as vertical. Go to features, click revolve boss, click OK. Select the surface, click sketch. And draw a rectangle of each side one on four mm. and draw another circle so roughly in the middle go to features click extruded boss and choose up to surface then select this surface click ok next I am going to create the hole click the surface click sketch Draw a hole and the hole diameter is 12 mm. The hole is at a height of, I mean, at a distance of 40 mm in each direction. Go to features, click extruder cut and select through all now go to hole wizard select thread select the top edge and in the end condition choose the bottom surface and click ok select extrude thread and select trim with the start face and trim with the end face Click OK. Now go to circular pattern. Click direction and select the direction. Features and faces. Select the arrow mark and choose the cut extrude and the thread. Next go to fillet. And the fillet radius is 17 mm. Select the four corners Click OK Now right click on the material and apply the material as brass Now save this as part number 3 Next click new, create a new part Select the front plane, click sketch. And draw the right side profile. So the bolt is M12, so the radius is 6 mm. And this diameter is given as 12 mm. The width is 5 mm. This height is given as 15 mm. And the overall height is 70 mm. Click Ctrl, select these two lines and make it as collinear. Go to features, click Revolve Boss. Select the center line, click OK. Now go to hole wizard, click thread. Select the top edge and choose the surface. Click OK. Again go to hole wizard, thread. Select the bottom edge and choose the surface and create the thread. 
Now right click on the material and choose the material as plain carbon steel. Now save this as part number 4. Now I am going to assemble it. Click new. Create new assembly. Insert the component number 1. So actually here I forgot to make the fillet. So you can do it. Click this and select open part. So likewise if you want to do any modifications you can do that. Select fillet and the fillet radius is 17 mm. So select the four corners. And create the fillet. Now you can save that. And close this. Click yes to update. Okay. Now the fillet is made. Now go to insert component and insert the component number 2. Go to mate. Select these two inclined surfaces and make it as concentric. Go to insert component. Insert the third component. Go to mate, select these two surfaces, make it as coincident and the two circular faces and make it as concentric. Also you can select these two edges and make it as coincident so that the rotation will not be allowed. Go to insert component. Insert component number 4, rotate this with respect to X, go to mate, select the two surfaces and click coincident, similarly select the top edge and the cylindrical surface and make it as concentric. Now go to circular component pattern the direction union of the circular direction and the component select the bolt and number of entities are 4 now we have completed the assembly of the blow off cock thank you